Hello everyone, welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In my previous lab, I did a database auto discovery in my lab too. Um, here is my lab environment, standalone garden with uh, MS SQL MySQL on Windows 2016. IP is dot 14 and.15. So this lab, I'm gonna illustrate how to classify your data in your database. We are gonna create in a new classification policy, search for credit card numbers, and populate the sensitive object group with the table name and the column name. Let's start it. So this is discover panel here. You will see classification and the database discovery. So we did auto discovery for our database. This is our SQL Server database. I already populated uh, my database bike stores with some uh, credit card numbers. I create a new table and add uh, probably 100 records inside. And I create a new table called order details. You will see colon, colon, there's one column called credit card numbers. We can see an information here on this table. My target for this lab is to let all IBM Guardian automatically find out this table and this column credit card numbers column and automatically populate it into sensitive object group so you may want to know what is sensitive object group let's see from setup you can see there's a group builder once you put the sensitive here, you can search all sensitive objects here. It should be a sensitive object here. We're going to duplicate this one. We're going to customize it and call it uh, 51 sec sensitive object. And the members already have two called activity and sales. We will not touch it and we will see once our classification policy ran and what kind of other information will be populated into here. So we create a new group, we call it 51 sec sensitive object. We close this window. Um, now we go into discover panel and that is classification menu here. So we will seek discover sensitive data. Before we do that, we want to see data source definition. Uh, this is data source we created for our vulnerability assessment. When we created, we checked the share, share this data source. So that means it can be used by other applications, other features in IBM Guardian. So that's why in the discover, we already can see this data source. If you don't have data source defined, and then you may want to do that first. Um, there's a, some template for your discovery scenarios here. Um, there's a PCI, there's a GDPR, there's CCPA, and the PII, personal information. Um, we're going to use some PCI as our template, basically, to find out the uh, credit card number information which is PCI related so we're gonna create it our scenario we call it PCI credit card discover classification policy we will use PCI template category will be sensitive classification will be sensitive next so we need to define what to discover. 
because we are using template obviously the credit card or information already been populated in here if you want to see details what's in these rules you can check one of the rules and then add it and you will see that root criteria let's uh, search expression regex number and they will search your all tables and then columns and find out all the goods and see which column table will match in this search expression regex for each rule there's an action assigned with it i, I want to mention this is this action by default is add to PCI sensitive object uh, if you didn't configure the group we defined here you can put the group we defined on here or you can leave it there and do it later on so object group you need to define so we have 51 sensitive object you can add it in here um, we prop actually member content you have lots of options what kind of content right now is object name for our purpose we don't want to only put the object we want to put the more so we may want to put the object in the field so that's usually we need to do but I don't want to put any action here because the object in the field you found it you may need to review before you can review it uh, don't put it into your sensitive object so I will say cancel we can cancel that we don't want to modify that so we have one two three four five rules union pay um, Visa, Mastercard, Amex. That's all we needed. Next, uh, data source. You so you need to define where to search the sensitive data, credit card number you want to find out. So now we can run discovery. Sample size. Hi. Let's run it now. It's waiting. So um, after that, um, maybe we can continue. They will get a sample size, like 2000 columns, 2000 numbers of records to show us once they found it. But uh, we don't have to wait there. We can continue to do the next step, which is action. Auditing what you want to do once you found it. You want to send an email. You want to review this is audit process right we want to get an email to uh, if you schedule it you want to get an email to see this discovery discovered information and then you want to put a schedule on it you want to say that maybe a month one, once a month and to see to search it That's basically the process to how to create in a discover scenery. Uh, we already run our discovery once and now we can go to review report here. There's two records has been found. As you can see it's coming from bike store, schema name is DBO, table name, all the details. It's credit card numbers. It's been detected by two rules. We put the five rules in there. One rule is the MasterCard number. Yes, one rule is credit card number. Doesn't matter if you are Visa or MasterCard, they will find it. So what we can do right now here is this option. You can check these findings and you can add to group. You can add to only object, also you can add to group object in the field. So this is object called table name. 
the field is column name. So we want to do object in the field. So let's add to object in the field. So then we can choose one object of the field group. At this moment, we didn't create our own object field group. Let's do that. We create our object group. Do we want to have both object and the field? So then we have to go to group builder. Create a new object, new group. We call it um, 51 sec checked field. And it is sensitive. Let's select the application name, we call it uh, public or what application else we have. Now you can just um, search one object field. So the group type is object field. Uh, category classification, you can put the sensitive. If you have that category and the classification. And uh, you can define members, um, but at this moment we don't want anything there. Save at close. Okay, and then we go back to our classification, discover sensitive data, and here now we can add it to the right group. Replace group and content. Nothing to replace at this moment. So there's audit process and the email allotting to people. The schedule runs once monthly. Um, now we can go back to our group builder to check that group we created, and also we add. We should see. There's a one members in that group. Let's go to the top. Add it object field group members. So as you can see, so we see the object, all the details, and we see field credit card numbers. So once you have this group, then you can put into your data security policy to monitor the access this group and create an alarm for this group as well, which we already did that in previous lab. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching.